Sometimes as a writer, when I read a book that I believe to be absolutely perfect in every single way, even though I love that book, I also kind of hate it just because I am so insanely jealous of the author's ability to write something so flawless, which is kind of the highest praise that I could possibly give to a book, I think. Um, and that's the praise that I'm going to give to Scream All Night by Derek Millman. This is the young adult debut contemporary novel from Derek Millman. Uh, and I put a lot of emphasis on the word contemporary because even though the cover and the title make it seem like a horror novel, this actually is not a horror novel. It is a, a contemporary dark comedy um, simply about horror and horror filmmaking. So the actual story follows a 17 year old boy named Dario Hayward and as a kid, he grew up in Moldavia Studios, which is an actual gothic castle. And it is a movie studio that is owned by his father, who is a famous, world-renowned uh, cult horror director. His father has directed so, so many B-horror films that have gained him a huge cult following. And Dario himself was also in one of his father's movies. The movie was called Zombie Children of the Harvest Sun. And he was in this movie as a 12 year old. Uh, he was the main character who was also a zombie. And um, even though from like the perspective of somebody like me who reads this book, I'm like, holy crap, that would be awesome to grow up in a gothic castle surrounded by all these cameras and all the special effects and all of the movie blood and just all of this stuff. It sounds like a dream come true to me. But for Dario, it was a much different story. There were a lot of things surrounding his parents um, and the making of the film that he was in that really pushed him to the brink as a 12 year old. And it upset him so much that he finally uh, left when he was 14 years old and decided to live in a group home. Now, here he is at 17 years old. He's trying to run away from his past and he doesn't want anything to do with it. Um, but he gets the news that his father is uh, about to die and his brother wants him to come back to the movie studio. So he slowly starts getting roped back into Moldavia Studios and he has to face the past that he has been running from for so long. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Scream All Night by Derek Millman has absolutely everything that I love. It has creepy castles, it has movie monsters, it has nods to horror films, it's all about horror filmmaking. It's loaded with dark humor and dialogue that'll make you laugh until you cry. They're wacky characters. And most importantly, this book is chocked full of heart and raw emotion. That definitely shows me that Derek Millman, the author, connected to this book in a very personal way while he was writing. I could sense that as I was reading. Throughout the entire book, I was tearing up out of sadness, and then the next instant, I would be tearing up because I was laughing so hard. It's just a perfect balance between humor and melancholy. The entire book has kind of a bittersweet quality that's very reminiscent to uh, books by Rainbow Rowell, uh, who is an author that I admire very much. Uh, so this kind of reminds me of Rainbow Rowell, if she were to write um, a love letter to horror movies. It's just such a beautiful story about selflessness, growing up, uh, facing your past, and then learning to move on. I loved this book so much. So, so much. It just encompasses everything that I am and everything I love. And it's all right here in book form. And I loved it. <laughs> I just, ah, oh, I'm so crazy about this book, man. As soon as I finished reading it, I wanted to turn it over to the front and start reading all over again. I have not read a book in a very long time that had that effect on me. The story, the writing, the pacing. This book, it's not small. It's a little bit of a chunky book. I flew through this thing. I did not want to put it down. The characters are amazing. The character arcs, oh my gosh, the way that the characters grow throughout the story, especially Dario, the main character was beautiful, it was beautiful. Even Dario's older brother, Orin, even though he is a complete idiot and he's so stupid, I still loved reading about him because the things he does and the things he says, it's just so crazy and it's just like, are you kidding me? Are you serious? So, Scream All Night by Derek Millman gets a solid five out of five stars for me. It gets the Cameron seal of approval. So far, best book I've read this year. It's going to be hard to top this one. This book is coming out July 18th from HarperCollins. I highly, highly recommend giving this book a pre-order. It is going to be out in hardcover and ebook. 
I will post the links down below in the graveyard where you can order this. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. And until next time, bye.